Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0. And today is day 39. So yesterday we showed you how to create a social asset inside of the designs applet. Um, and today I'm going to show you how you can connect that design from your design library back to a social post or social ad. So if you'll remember, day 29 we created a social post, day 30 and 31 we created an ad. Just wanted to show you how those two applets play together. So let's dive into the designs applet first. Now off screen, I created a second asset. And if you'll remember, we saw that the square asset was best for social posts and that the wide asset was best for social ads. So that being said, I designated my second one as a Facebook ad, but I forgot to make sure that this one was named as a Facebook post. One quick thing to show you, if you click on the three dots, you do get some options here where you can rename your file. You can also make a copy of it or choose to delete it. Such that I know the difference between the one I want to run for my ad and the one I want to run for my post, I'm just gonna rename this one real quick, FB Post. And that way it's real clear to me which one I'm using for my ad and which one I'm using for my post. So just a quick tip on how to redesign or if you want to make a copy or delete an asset, you now know how to do that. Let's transition back to campaigns. And you're going to remember back from our 293031, let's create a campaign and at first we'll do social post. So you'll remember from this actual challenge that if I click on this little photo, I get the add media button underneath the content section of the social post creation and I have the ability to browse designs. Now that we actually have some designs in the library, I want you to see what that looks like. So right now we are creating a social post and this is the one that I have clearly labeled for Facebook post. So I'm going to choose this design and watch what happens. This design automatically gets loaded into the system and available for me to use. And you can see Right, we know that square one-to-one -one aspect ratio is best for social posts. So I'm gonna click on crop image. And now we've got that image ready to go. Um, I wouldn't use my Evolve page. I would use my Marty Miller page. And there you go. You can see the header will change. I would go ahead and put in the text. Check out this beautiful lease property, right? And you would have all that information in there. We'll see how that shows up you're ready to go with your social post. So this is how to access your design library from within social posts. I can also go back and remember how we were creating a social ad. Well, if we do the social ad route, now I can go in and name this campaign and we're gonna choose what the goal is. We're gonna choose to run it on Facebook and create the campaign. Now, instead of just choosing a photo from the listing, instead, I can choose to go in, come down to the media configuration button. And once again, I'm going to choose images, select media, and from the add images button, I'm going to get the browse designs library tool. So now if I click on browse designs library, this was our paid ad. So I'm going to choose the asset that goes with the paid ad. And you'll see it takes a second to load. It will then allow me to preview it. I am gonna most likely have to change the aspect ratio. So when we click on preview and crop, it, it kind of defaults to square, but that doesn't look good. We want the whole ad. Remember when you're doing ads, your wide aspect ratio is best for your ads. And you can see once we change that to wide, it looks much better. We can save the image. And now we have this image going out as our ad as compared to just a simple photo from the listing itself. So I think when you're creating your social ads and your social post, you should definitely consider incorporating designs because it'll, it'll just kind of make you look that much more professional, give you some additional marketing chops, make the uh, content look that much better. And you sort of get the opportunity to add some additional information that they may not have to read when you put in the text. Now, remember we talked about price, up to you whether you include it or not, some conversations around quantity versus quality, but you could always remove that from the design if you decide not to have the price listed. That's it for today, guys. Basically just a short video kind of showing you the in 
interactivity between applets inside of command, specifically our two marketing-based applets, the design applet where I'm gonna create the professional-looking graphics, and then the campaign applet where I'm gonna go ahead and use that graphic inside of this specific campaign, whether at this point it's a social post or a social ad. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to show you how to create print assets, including postcards, and then we're actually gonna connect that asset to the direct mail campaign and show you how to do that. So look forward to that over the next couple of days. As always, it's great talking to you. Hope you're having a fantastic day.